Hey guys, welcome to Box Pride. We have a couple of very good fights happening around the world this weekend. But in this video, I'm going to be staying here in the UK because this Friday evening, we have what I believe has the potential to be an extremely exciting fight while it lasts. I'm talking about Oval McKenzie going up against Enzo Macronelli for McKenzie's Commonwealth Light Heavyweight title. Let's take a look first at the challenger Enzo Macronelli. First of all, obvious comment, his punch resistance leaves a lot to be desired. If you look at his record, it speaks for itself. He's got 35 victories, 5 losses. Each of those 5 losses have been by stoppage. Okay, speaks for itself. His punch resistance leaves a lot to be desired. Now, I firstly want to address Enzo Macronelli's last fight because I am often quite a firm, firm believer in judging guys by their last fight. You're only as good as your last performance. And in his last fight, Enzo Macronelli went up against Shane McPhilvin. You may know what happened here, but I'm going to recap. The first round, okay, Shane McPhilvin hurt Enzo Macronelli with about a minute left on the clock. He put Macronelli down, okay? Macronelli was in quite a bad way. He made it to his feet, but he was all over the shop. With 47 se uh, seconds left in the round, the bell rang. A major cock-up, and they went back to their stools. I would bank that if that bell hadn't rung and saved Enzo Macronelli, there was a very good chance that that fight would have been over and stopped in that first round, because McPhilvin was coming back in for the kill, and Macronelli was wobbly. Okay, he was hurt. Then, Macronelli went down again in the third round. He fought back, knocked McPhilbin down in the ninth round, and went on to win a decision. My point here is, Macronelli's going up against a guy in Oval McKenzie who has been stopping guys early. Macronelli was down early twice in this fight against McPhilbin. Okay? That is the basis and the explanation of what I'm predicting in this fight. But first of all, let me go over it, try and be a bit positive for Enzo Macronelli because there's always two sides to a story. One thing on the flip side to take note of and to consider when you're thinking about this fight is that Macronelli has also stopped guys early. Macronelli has around 67% KO ratio. Macronelli can punch as well. Okay? Mackenzie, although it was back in around 2007, Mackenzie was stopped in the first round. Mackenzie is not, it's not impossible that he can get hurt by Enzo Macronelli. So he needs to be cautious. Mackenzie also keeps a lower guard than Macronelli. So, Macronelli can look to, to exploit that and land some punches, land some clean shots. Okay? So, Macronelli has a, a, a puncher's chance in this fight. Also, Macronelli keeps that higher guard and he's not too bad a boxer. He has a pretty good attack. He's pretty decent when he wants to just box and strictly box and keep it at a technical base. The problem Macronelli has, and he's admitted this, although he's not done much to address the issue, is that he gets he gets pushed, uh, pulled into wars with guys, rather than just strictly boxing. My plan for Macronelli in this fight, be very cautious, keep the fight outside, strictly boxing. If the chance and opportunity for it to land some punches come, and to, land, uh, to hurt over Mackenzie, they'll come on their own. Don't force the issue. The moment he forces the issue, that's when this fight falls apart, falls apart for Macronelli for me. Okay, So Macronelli needs to keep it safe from the outside. He needs to keep distance. He needs to give himself the opportunity to see the punches come in. To see the Oval McKenzie right hand come in so that he can get out of the way or try and block it. If he gets too close, and I'll mention in a minute, he has trouble. Okay. Also, Macronelli never really seems that steady on his feet for me. His legs don't seem that strong. I think that's part of the punch resistance as well. And here's the problem. And I'm going to move on to the champion here, Mackenzie. 
Mark Rinelli's going up against a guy who is more elusive than him, who's more difficult to hit than him. Mark Rinelli, in my opinion, is going to find it difficult to land clean shots on Oval McKenzie from the outside, which I've already advised that he do. So he will have to take risks, in my opinion, and keep move this fight closer if he is to get to Oval McKenzie and stand a chance of hurting him. So he either stays on the outside and plays it safe and tries to outbox, but he may run the risk of not being able to land clean shots and therefore lose on points. Uh, this is the thing. Oval McKenzie has a very deceiving record. 20 victories, 11 losses. Only two of them have been by stoppage, which shows that he's quite a tough guy, which also suggests that it's going to be difficult for Macronelli to actually stop this guy, um, and he may need to look to win this on points. Oval McKenzie only has, on record, around 29% KO ratio. But you try telling that to the guys as of late, he's really been hurting, he's been stopping early. You try telling that to Tony Bellew. We all know Tony Bellew, he's rising up in the light heavyweight ranks. And uh, I want you to watch the first round, okay, of the first fight between Tony Bellew and Oval McKenzie. And I want you to watch the first knockdown. First fight with Tony Bellew, first round, first knockdown. You'll see it's an inside right hand that comes over on the top of the head of Tony Bellew. Then I want you to watch the first round of the Enzo Macronelli Shane McPhilbin fight. And you will see that Shane McPhilbin, at one instance, does exactly the same thing to Enzo Macronelli. Doesn't particularly hurt Macronelli, but he does it. And I believe that Enzo Macronelli is in trouble if this goes inside because I think that Oval McKenzie has a better defensive reflex than Enzo Macronelli when he's inside. He covers up quite quickly when you go for him inside, whereas Enzo Macronelli, you can catch him. He gets un disorientated. I think Oval McKenzie can exploit this. I think he can throw right hands over the top at close range. He's adept at doing this. That's a danger for Enzo Macronelli on the inside. <clears throat> also, he had Tony Bellew down twice in that fight before Tony Bellew stopped him in about the 8th round, I think it was. This shows that Mackenzie is dangerous and you, you, you're just one of these guys, you can't look at his record and judge him. You have to just judge him by merit while he's done in fights. You can't bother with the record. He's more powerful than 29%, I'm telling you now. Okay? He's dangerous. Also, another, some more food for thought. Look how Bellew fought in his second fight in the rematch with Oval McKenzie. How cautious he was. He won that fight by decision. Why? Because he didn't want to get knocked down again. Because he was cautious of Oval McKenzie's power. That says it all for me. Says it all. That... Over McKenzie can make a fighter like Bellew that cautious from the first fight that he, he goes and plays such a safe game plan. You know, didn't even want to look like he wanted to prove something and knock over McKenzie out again. He really was cautious in that fight. McKenzie for me needs to mix this up. He needs to get close, he needs to rough up Enzo Macronelli, he may, needs to make this, you know, a real war. Um, and that's where he will be able to unleash on Macronelli and hurt Macronelli. He needs to do it straight off. He needs to just run and get in the face of Macronelli, in my opinion. Other than that, he could just stay a bit elusive for the first part, stay on the outside himself, and then dive in and put some pressure on Macronelli. Are the low hands an issue? Because he keeps lower hands, as I mentioned. It's something that maybe uh, that will give Enzo Macronelli a chance to land shots. But like I said, I think Oval McKenzie has quite uh, good movement. And I think that Macronelli may find it difficult to land on him. There are my points done. I think I've finished here. I'm going to end now. I want to, I want to end this uh, on 10 minutes. I'm picking over McKenzie by stoppage in the first couple of rounds. I'll go for round two. Please let me know what you guys think. This is Boxbread, and I'm out.